Sandos are doing a very good job of trying to minimise their impacts. A lot of the work Sandos are doing here is working with the University in Queensland. Developing strategies for the safe and sustainable management of our water. We're taking a forward looking view to how we can fine tune and improve our management with you know, um, very focused problem solving type research. Looking into the technical aspects of the project, talking with the community about how that brings benefit to them, understanding how their land operates and how we can work with that most effectively. When people can see what is possible, what we're doing at Springwater on our own land, and that's really powerfully motivated. Any water that comes out of the ground got to get treated. We have very stringent monitoring programs in place. We expect to have well over 200 separate monitoring locations. Some of those locations will be monitoring the groundwater pressure and the water quality at multiple locations vertically in the ground. Sandos has a lot of beneficial reuse projects with their water, such as managed aquifer recharge and irrigation projects. Where the water that's coming out of the CSG wells will be treated and re-injected into the Gubramunda, which is um, where the town takes its drinking water supply from. The water is going back into landholder properties and coming through with a crop that they can use. Basically turning a waste product into resources. We've got 230, 30 odd hectares irrigated with reverse osmosis water. The lacuna here will produce much higher protein feed, which is very essential for good cattle growth. We've got a weight gain at presently of about 0.9 to a kilo a day. This is the first cattle the Sanos has actually brought out of the Roma sale yards. And they graze it down on a rotational basis in what we call cell grazing. Farmers are seeing a lot of value in it. Uh, it's certainly taken away a lot of the problems that they face, such as drought. It's giving them a food source for their stock, for their cattle. In Roma here, our irrigation projects will ultimately cover 4,000 hectares. Now that's 4,000 hectares that during water production will have their cattle carrying capacity increased by 25 fold. And even after we've gone, packed up and gone home, that land will be permanently improved. It'll have its productivity increased by at least fivefold. It's a big impact, a positive impact on the community of Roma. We're very proud of our efforts and we're very passionate about it.